children are in trouble because we've outsourced the job of feeding them. The average American diet consists of about 70% processed food. Our desire for convenience leaves us relying on strangers to produce the food we feed our families. When we cook, we get to decide what is going into our children's bodies. And unlike the processed food manufacturers, we have a strong interest in the health of the people who are going to be eating the food that we make. If we practice moderation, then no food is forbidden. When our children are drinking juice as a thirst quencher during the day, then the sugar really starts to add up. If we do the best we can with the resources that are available to us, we can begin to have more control over where our food comes from and also how it's prepared. Let's start by thinking, what am I going to serve for my vegetables for this meal? Don't start with the protein. Start by thinking, am I going to make a stir fry? Or am I going to make steamed vegetables with a white sauce on top? Or am I going to make a salad as my vegetable? And then ask yourself, what would go well with that? Could I make a quick fish in the oven? Could I make some homemade chicken nuggets on the stove for the kids tonight? When kids see adults coming together around healthy foods, they'll often be more willing to try new things. Also, let little ones mix things in a bowl or add fruit to make their own smoothie, prep vegetables or mash things like potatoes or bananas or avocados. This gives them a sense of control that can help them to be more adventurous eaters. long run, a diet of mostly home-cooked foods prepared by someone who cares about the people eating that food will almost always be healthier for the whole family.